It is. Absolutely. Um, well, thank you, Sharon. I'm glad to be here. And, um, and I'm, one, I thought of all of you to invite you because whether it was through work and hearing, just knowing of your interest in um, nutrition and wellness and just you know, wanting to stay healthy, um, or with you, Brenda, just kind of a, it's, through our interactions, just seems to notice that it's something you seem to be interested in and just thought, well, I've really benefited so much from um, what we're going to share tonight as far as whole food nutrition, getting whole food fruits and vegetables. And um, it may seem like a no brainer that sure it's healthy to eat fruits and vegetables, but um, I, even as a dietitian, um, I was really, um, I guess, skeptic. I was always interested in nutrition, but whenever I'd hear about a different product, I'd be a little bit skeptical naturally because I thought, um, well, is this really legit? And, um, and actually, um, I don't know if you want me to go into detail sharing about when I met, I met Joni through this process. It's now a good yeah, time. For I haven't heard this story. Okay. Um, so about eight years ago, um, Chris and I were dating at the time, and Chris knew Joni from Montgomery. Um, they had known each other from church at one point. And um, Joni actually first introduced Juice Plus to Chris, um, which is like whole fruits and vegetables in a capsule. And um, Chris has Crohn's disease, and he has trouble digesting a lot of um, fruits and vegetables. And th this is a more well, – Sharon will share more with you, but um, – this was a solution that seemed to be a, a better way for him to get the nutrients. And the more I looked into it and I saw how much research there was behind it, I was really um, just uh, amazed um, at what it had the potential to do. So um, it's something that I've been, I then ended up, you know, starting Juice Plus myself and have really enjoyed the benefits of having um, just overall like less thickness, not that I got sick a whole lot before, but I just have more energy. Um, and I just enjoyed continuing to learn um, about more things and I, we'll share more as we go along. But um, I just thought y'all might be interested in this is just finding out more about how Juice Plus could potentially be a part of a healthy lifestyle. Right, and I love it that it's made an impact on your family's health. So, okay, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share, oops, my screen. And um, you know, it all started for me with one simple change. So um, the theme of our, our talk tonight is simple changes, little changes that you can make that are going to make a big difference in your health. And for me, 17 years ago, um, my, my life was changed as far as my health. My friend intervened, thank goodness, because she um, was so much healthier than me. She grew up in a family where they actually juiced, and that was not my meat and potatoes Ohio family, you know. Um, so I learned a lot from that, and um, I'm going to share with you what I've learned from this community. Where uh, The Juice Plus community is a community of like-minded, health-conscious people. And, you know, we're all trying to just strive to do better every day. We're not perfect eaters. We do a lot of offsetting, you know, um, with just trying to get concentrated nutrition into our bodies every day and to have some healthy habits because we understand the value of having a healthy body. You know, if you go out to your car and it doesn't start, aren't you pretty irritated? Well, what if that was your body that didn't start? You know, <laughs> it's like you want your body to work every single day, not just today, but maybe 50 years from now for some of you who are really young. Um, it's like we want our bodies to last a really long time. So we have to take care of the body that we have. It's the only place we have to live in, you know, we're, they're not going to hand us new kidneys and livers and all that stuff. Right. So we've got to keep that in mind. And, um, Thomas Edison said it best many years ago, the doctor, of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but rather will cure and prevent disease with nutrition, you know? And unfortunately, a lot of our doctors um, don't choose to learn nutrition in medical school. It's an elective. And so they're not really wellness oriented. They are more treatment oriented. So if you go to the doctor, they're going to give you what's in their toolbox. And if they are not a wellness oriented type of doctor, they can't really give you any advice on wellness, you know? So um, that's really in your own hands. And so what we need to do is nutrition comes down to real food. You know, um, we need to really include as much real food in our diet every single day. And it really comes down to fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, beans, everything that would grow from the ground, you know, that's real food or anything that's kind of in the perimeter of the aisle at the supermarket. 
Um, when you go down the aisles, that's when you can get in trouble with processed foods. When you um, join all the masses and sit in line for the, the happy meals and things like that, that's also got a lot of um, you know, processed foods ingredients and things that are really harmful for you. So you really want to stick with the real food and you know what real food rots. And so um, it has live enzymes like that watermelon, you know, it was alive and that's why it rots. If it's not alive, you're not getting as much benefit. So raw is really good. Um, and then we also like to say if it's, if it doesn't rot or sprout, throw it out, you know? So if, if you have a potato, it's going to sprout because it was alive. So we're live human beings. We need to eat live food as much as possible and real food. And it doesn't have a label. And um, really, it comes down to a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. Yes, there are a ton of other things you could do as far as lifestyle choices, not smoking, not doing a lot of harmful things to your body, um, exercising or moving your body the way we were intended to move, you know, daily. Um, and less stress, things like that. But look at the only common denominator when 150 doctors looked at 4,500 studies on what keeps us healthy. Fruits and vegetables. And this is what I learned 17 years ago. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that. And I'll get into more of what I learned because the science behind it is amazing. Um, our government has tried really hard. I don't know if they've tried hard enough, but they've tried really hard to get us to eat more fruits and vegetables. They keep changing their campaign. You know, there was the five a day campaign. Now there's the choose my plate. Um, now they're saying, you know, half your plate and fruits and vegetables. Well, it comes down to the minimum daily requirement um, or recommendation is seven to 13. Seven is for children, 13 for men who exercise um, but really, that's a minimum in a society where we're not very healthy. So it's okay to eat even more than that. It's good to eat even more than that, as much as you can of plant foods especially, you know. Um, but this is a good illustration from the government to at least eat half your plate of fruits and vegetables every day. And every day we have a choice of what we're going to put in our mouths, you know, many times a day. I, I don't think it's just three meals at this point. I think we might eat all day long. There's so many things coming at us, you know. We might stop at Starbucks and get a Frappuccino. We might have a little dessert here or there besides the three meals. So every time we're putting something in our mouth, we have control. And we have control over whether we're, we're putting something in our mouth that helps our immune system or hurts our immune system. Well, fruits and vegetables help the immune system. You know, you may see people juicing after they're diagnosed with something like cancer. Look at this Cancer Society poster. It's all fruits and vegetables. And that's what really shocked me, to tell you the truth, 17 years ago when I was telling a couple of you that I have a couple master's degrees. And um, I knew nothing about nutrition, though. And now I wish I would have studied nutrition, really, because I feel like it's so much more applicable to daily life and keeping your family healthy and all that. Um, although in this community, I've learned plenty about nutrition. And, um, and so I, I'm happy that I've been involved in this community to understand food is fuel and that you want to get as many concentrated foods into your diet, you know, real high value nutritional foods in your diet. What I was fueling my body with was sugar, Coca-Cola, M&Ms, <laughs> um, you know, uh, fast food, any food, convenience food. But I didn't realize that, um, you know, cancer is not just like by chance and that it's not, um, you know, that it's not random. And, you know, a lot of people don't think they're going to get cancer. So they really don't even think about it. And I was one of them, you know, you never really think you're going to get cancer. And, you know, you don't really necessarily know how to prevent it. But I was really happy to learn this many years ago that lots and lots of fruits and vegetables is how you prevent not just cancer, but Alzheimer's stroke, Parkinson's, all these things you can look up on the internet how do we prevent whatever disease? And it's going to say, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Well, let me tell you why. And um, a lot of people try to bridge the gap with vitamins. But in fact, we have a whole food deficiency. We don't have a vitamin deficiency. Um, and if you look on the internet and just put in how many vitamins have ever been discovered? 13. That's it. And so it's amazing that there's whole stores with the, the title vitamin in it. Um, because that's how many vitamins have ever been taken out of a whole food 
and isolated and put into a multivitamin. And then if they have the minerals, you might have 30, okay, and a multivitamin, but a lot of people think that's how they're gonna bridge that gap from not eating the whole food of seven to 13 fruits and vegetables every day, and also other plants that really we should be eating all day. Um, but in this apple, there's 10,000 nutrients. This is just one page of 25 of what would be in an apple. And only one of those, you know, of these tiny elements is vitamin C. And the only reason it's replicated is because it's connected to scurvy and it's also easily um, isolated or, you know, water soluble. So they put it into the multivitamin. But that left the 9,999 other good things that were in the apple, you know? And then when a doctor tells you, um, take a calcium supplement, they tell you to take magnesium, but in a green leafy vegetable, there's also boron, phosphorus, vitamin K, all these other things that actually help keep the calcium in the bone, not only get it absorbed, but keep it in the bone. So in nature, you've got all these little elements working together in synergy. It's kind of like having a, a band, you know, of 200 people, but only the oboe plays, you know, it's just not the same. So um, it's better to have the whole food instead. And um, let me just tell you about what happens with fruits and vegetables. This is what really amazed me and what I'm so thankful, you know, that I've been eating a lot more fruits and vegetables. Um, we have what's called oxidative stress happening in our bodies every single day. And the more we stress our bodies, the more, um, whether it's with exercise or with smoking or eating bad foods, those all actually increase our oxidative stress. And so we need to have antioxidants and that comes from fruits and vegetables. And, and that's the only thing that really neutralizes that oxidative stress. And as that oxidative stress happens because of metabolism, there's a byproduct called free radicals. And those free radicals are hitting on your good cells 10,000 times a day um, on every cell. And so you want to really neutralize that oxidative stress. And so you might have seen people who look like they've had a hard life, people might say, um, you know, or they've aged faster than they really should. And those people had more oxidative stress than they had antioxidants, okay? That's why we need so many fruits and vegetables because over time, oxidative stress causes damage, little nicks, you know? That's why they say cancer could have been in your body so many years ago, you know? Because it's, it comes over time. And also aging can happen faster if you have more oxidative stress. So you can slow the aging process down, you can slow the disease process down by really taking care of that oxidative stress. And that is from fruits and vegetables. One, Nobel Peace Prize winner says that every day you don't um, have enough fruits and vegetables in your body, it's like standing in front of an x-ray machine. Nobody would sign up for that. And yeah. so it's no wonder that um, Time Magazine says the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you, it's that they're so good they can save your life. And that's why many people are trying to shove them in their body and juicing, and now there's a whole movement. People understand the value of whole food nutrition. You see a lot more little green juices that you can buy for like nine, ten dollars, right? Kind of expensive. Um, well, here's an easier way, um, and it's two dollars and forty nine cents a day to have 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries in your body every day. And this is really how I started learning about all that. And I was so thankful after I saw the American Cancer Society poster that I was I had just started taking Juice Plus. I was like, oh my gosh, because um, I was never a healthy eater. And um, even now I'm a stay at home, in quotes, vegetarian. And I mean, for me to be able to eat that many fruits and vegetables, is really hard. And then, you know, you tend to eat the same ones all the time. So this is a way to get a variety, to get the dark, dense ones like bilberry, concord grape, cranberry, beets. I mean, there's things, you know, that I don't even eat, you know, mm -hmm. very regularly. And this is a way to get it every day because really what, what really determines your optimal health later on is your daily habits. What you do consistently every day matter. So this is something that's so simple, so easy to do, um, to take two red, two green, two purple capsules every day. That's what I do. Um, and then for children or adults, there's chewables. And that way you've had about 30 different fruits, vegetables, and berries that have been juiced for you. 
and put into those different forms. And um, the great thing about Juice Plus is that there's research behind it, which Marianne's gonna tell you a little bit about that in a few minutes, but also that it is a food. It's bridging that food gap. And so if you look up at the label here, it's a nutrition facts label. You can go and pull some things out of your cabinet and check it out and see. Most things have supplement facts as the label, but if you buy a food, you're gonna see nutrition facts as the label. This is um, one indication that it's a food. It's not a vitamin. It contains vitamins, but it also contains minerals. It contains phytochemicals from plants, but it doesn't, it's not an isolated vitamin um, like I was showing you earlier. Um, mm -hmm. and then the, the other great thing, whenever you buy a supplement, you, know, you don't really know if it works and you don't really know if it's safe anything on the shelf because it's not um tested by the fda the label is the factory is but um as far as being approved or not approved for supplements they don't have that so you really got to rely on third-party validation for safety and we have that with nsf certification and it um guarantees there's no herbicides, pesticides, molds, bacteria, heavy metals, things like that, banned substances. So mm -hmm. Olympic teams can even take Juice Plus and they have. And then um, the other thing is that we have research behind Juice Plus and it's product specific research. It's not borrowed research. Borrowed research is like saying an orange, you know, does this, that, and the other, and therefore Juice Plus does that. No, it's not borrowed research. It's actual research done on humans using juice plus and at all these universities and medical centers that you can see in this picture um mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing i there was only three studies when i first started 17 years ago now there's 36 okay um here is my before and after picture just a little bit about my story um i was 32 when um i had my first baby and i knew nothing i already told you all that in my terrible <laughs> eating habits and i read this book and i had to skip over most of that part where it's got the best odds diet and i'm like i don't know what you guys are talking about bran and brown eggs and omega-3s i knew nothing um so thankfully like i said my friend intervened and um in time for that baby he was about six months when i found out about juice plus and also our complete shake which we'll talk about in a second um and flaxseed those were like my three things i was like oh my goodness because i got pregnant right after he was six months i was pregnant again with another baby boy and um i had juice plus as my prenatal i um i learned about flaxseed and i had the shake and i was like oh man i am just so cool now because i finally have some way of getting concentrated nutrition in my diet well, over time, I also made other simple changes, like from cow's milk to plant milk to, you know, just different things over time. And um, then you can see my, my picture down below. That is eight years later when I had my baby girl and I was 40 and I was, I was feeling great. I knew that God was going to give me a girl, number one. Um, mm -hmm. But also I knew I was healthier than ever. And so when I went to the OBGYN, he was not happy. He was like, oh, you're 40. And I'm like, but I'm so much healthier. I've made all these changes, you know? And he's like, well, your eggs are 40 years old. I'm like, whatever. So anyway, I knew I was healthier than look at my before picture. You know, you guys can see that. Anyway, so my family, um, this is them kind of nowadays. I think it was last year, but they're 16, 17, and nine now. And so I was so much healthier and had that baby girl and she's just fine. And we've been able to use Juice Plus as a family all this time. And we have the complete shake every day. And of course, flaxseed or chia seed. And I've learned so many things from this community. So I'm excited to always share that with you guys. Um, I, I believe people need to know the truth about food and make their choices from there, you know, but I am just the messenger. So I'm excited to share with you Marianne and her story tonight. And here's her lovely picture of her beautiful mm -hmm. family. And yeah. so go ahead, Marianne, what's been your experience? Okay. Well, I guess I kind of um, inserted a little bit there at the beginning. I'm um, mm -hmm. not sure how far to go with it, but um, just as far as really the family experience as I shared, it was actually when Chris and I were dating that I got introduced to it um, via Joni. And um, that at that time, it was all still very new. And um, but I, I was able to tell, like I said, pretty soon and after taking Juice Plus and even, I guess I'll reiterate, 
like I said, being a dietitian and being skeptical sometimes about nutritional products out there, if they really were legit. Um, you know, I just want to say that the research that um, Sharon you know, spoke of is really impressive. And you look at, and, and Sarah, I know being a doctoral student, you know what valid research study designs are. Um, like it's double blind placebo control, um, the real stuff, you know, and I really was impressed just to, particularly in terms of the, the supporting the immune system, um, just looking at the um, decreasing the biomarkers of inflammation. And the more I learned about how inflammation influences chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes, um, as well as cancer. Um, yeah, there is heart disease in my family and that's just something I would need to be aware of to try to, you know, in terms of being healthy to prevent. Um, and so um, actually, yeah, to, as I share my, continue my story about my family, beyond um, my, um, the family of my own, my family of origin, my dad has a, um, a he has a heart condition. He has a congenital heart defect, um, which has affected him. And he's actually quite fortunate. He's 66, and he's one of the oldest living with this particular type of heart defect because they weren't really doing many surgeries before this time. And um, it took him a while to buy in, actually, for Juice Plus. But the longer, as Chris and I got on it, and we were, um, you know, he was hearing us talk about it more and how we were excited just to learn more and to share more in a natural way, not a pushy way at all, just a very much natural as we talked about, you know, what we were doing to stay healthy. He always had this curiosity. Um, and actually one of the studies that stood out to him in terms of supporting cardiovascular wellness was one, and I'm in, you may have to help me, um, Sharon, for the moment of drawing the blank on where it was done, but it was the one where they tested with the fast food meal and how the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels, how it it decreased mm -hmm. the constriction when someone took Juice Plus after eating a high fat fast food meal. Um, my dad was watching a video um, of Dr. Du Bois talking about that study and he was like, wow, that's really impressive. Um, but even then he wasn't quite ready to get started. It still took him a while after that. Um, but he has been taking Juice Plus now um, and, and drinks the shakes as well from time to time. And he's, um, you know, he's, his health is, is doing, he's doing very much better than actually he has been um, for several years, um, he's been, um, he's lost some weight and he just has better um, energy, um, you know, and I think he's, it's, he's been encouraged um, just because it's helped him to be more aware, not just taking Juice Plus, but just be more aware of good nutrition in general and making better choices, um, you know, and so that's why I've been very thankful. And then just to carry it over um, with Neil, um, I also took Juice Plus while I was pregnant and enjoyed um, having better energy um, because you are quite tired when you're pregnant a lot of times when you're creating another human being. And so, um, but, but I was, I appreciated staying healthy and having more energy. And, um, and, and Neil too, although he's only two now, um, I even was able to start um, with the, there's a, the capsules and then there's the chewables, the gummies. And he's, um, I've been able to, um, you know, put, give him some of the gummies that he loves it. It's like, he likes it better than candy, honestly. When he tried some of his Halloween candy gummies, he liked the Juice Plus gummies better. <laughs> um, so that was pretty, pretty fun. So it's, um, anyway, I'm just very, very thankful. And, um, you know, as far as my career too, obviously, I've got coworkers on here. Um, you know, you know that I, um, you know, I'm passionate about not only just good nutrition, but having overall good relationship with food. And I think Juice Plus can support that too, as far as being able to, um, you know, just kind of maintain a healthy lifestyle and have flexibility um, for sure too. Um, and um, it's been fun for me to share, you know, with some of my um, clients as well, um, just as it, it naturally comes up um, because there are many people, um, you know, for one reason or another, we all know, myself included, it is hard sometimes to um, make the healthiest choices every day. And so I look at Juice Plus as kind of bridging the gap for when you can't always eat the way you want to. It kind of is like extra insurance to make sure your body's getting what it needs. And so um, I've been, been grateful for that. And here's the slide um, where, you know, we um, talked about the 30 fruits and vegetables and berries, mm -hmm. but if you yeah. do shake, you want to tell them about the shake? Yeah, so the, um, the complete shake is a whole food based um, shake with, with protein. And um, there's not all these weird ingredients that you can't pronounce. It's if you look at the list, it's like um, you can see here a few of the different ingredients. It's, it's actual whole food, um, and um, comes in chocolate and vanilla. And um, it's um, 
it's really been a lot of people have found it helpful just to be able to again kind of bridge the gap it has another i believe another 15 whole foods right mm -hmm. um, or to so if you were to you know include the juice plus capsules along with the shake you're getting like 45 different whole foods um you know in your diet every day if you were and so um but what I've been impressed with the people who have tried it, they agree. They said this stuff actually tastes great. You know, sometimes there's a lot of like, protein shakes are huge right now. There's so many different ones out there, and some of them are kind of chalky tasting or whatnot. Or they're, but like this actually tastes like real, you know, natural good shake. And you, the more you you add in your own, you know, fruits and any other flavors you want to add to it, make it even better. Um, so it's a good easy way, especially for people who struggle to eat breakfast. Maybe it's a good quick easy breakfast. Um, you know, it could be, um, you know, kind of a snack or, you know, just to kind of keep energy up. So a post workout. So it's been really, um, you know, it's something that Chris and I enjoy. I even actually like to, sometimes if I don't want to shake, I'll add it to my oatmeal just to give it more flavor and protein. And, um, mm -hmm. so that's something else kind of a good creative way to use it. You can even make like cookies with it even too, like little energy bars. So, so it's good stuff. Yeah. People make protein balls. Um, yeah, they make muffins out of it. They make all kinds of things out of that. I love that it has um, Jerusalem artichoke, which helps build the intestinal bacteria too. So. That's right. Yeah. Here's yeah. Neil. Yeah, there he is. You can <laughs> see um, <laughs> tearing into those packages. Yeah. Um, you know, and I love it that he um, and yet that the, he like he'll always ask for it more. You know, and like with <laughs> it's like so good for him but you have to be careful not to eat too many because that might be a little bit much in the digestive system but um but yeah like the, you can see the green one there he's getting like his broccoli and kale and spinach and all that um and um uh, he especially loves the vineyard blend which i have to admit that's my favorite of the, of the favorite. <laughs> yeah <laughs> for sure. so fun. um and of course i'm trying to encourage you know actual food too that he doesn't just rely only on juice plus but i, I do believe it's you know, um, it's getting in his body, and that's actually, I'll go into, you know, too, is this a good place to mention the children's health study, mm -hmm. um, is that um, one of the best things I think this company does is they really care about, um, and, well, everyone's health, but with children, they, they're, what the company will offer is for each adult order, um, a child ages four and up can take, get it for free, um, and doesn't have to be your own child, it could be a grandchild, or um, just even a friend, and um, so I'm, I'm excited for when Neil turns four that you can get to participate in this. With it being a study, they are actually, um, you know, they, that's, that's, they ask you to fill out a survey and they've been doing studies on the kids that take it. And these are just some of the things that they have found, you know, that um, they, there's a decrease in how much they need to rely on uh, medications, particularly with kids with a lot of allergies, they can go off their allergy medication um, that because they're healthier, they're missing less school. Um, and um, they found too that it was acted as a catalyst that kids are actually wanting to eat more fruits and vegetables because it was in their system. So I'm hoping that might um, help Neil as well. Um, so um, I also have to mention my 19 year old niece, even though she's, she's 19, technically an adult, but she's a full time college student. And she just within the past year got on my dad's order um, to do the children's health study. And she has told me that she's really, uh, she doesn't have to take naps as much in the afternoons like she used to. Um, and just notice that she has more energy and um, she's really enjoying it too. So, um, so yeah, it's a great thing. And um, Joni is actually going to share a little bit more because she has some, some of her own kids that have gotten to enjoy the benefits of this. So I'll turn it over to her. Oh, she's mute. Okay. I'm mute. Yeah, I'm going to unmute myself because yeah. okay. I have two teenagers at my house. Um, right. <laughs> so I threatened them. I was like, when you hear me talking, stop talking. <laughs> so it wouldn't be noisy here. But I love just hearing your story all over again, Marianne, because Chris and I did go to church together so many years ago. And it was cool to reconnect with him. I think it was social media. Um, and then yeah. to, to meet you and then to learn more about your passion and your purpose in life and just, you know, really helping people. And um, what I love is that Juice Plus is really about helping people see the benefits of good nutrition. You know, that food doesn't have to be this, this negative thing for people, but it can really fuel our bodies. And so, um, at first, first of all, I want to talk about the shakes because I am a cardio girl. So I usually drink my shake when I get back. So it's an incredible post-workout for me to be able to refuel my body with the nutrients after, you know, um, working out for an hour 
And my son, what's so crazy about this is you see how tall he is. Like he is taller. <laughs> not that short. I'm fine. Yeah. But we have been on Juice Plus actually December. This month is 10 years. Wow. So I am so in, like just grateful, like eternally grateful that my friend Stacy actually shared whole food nutrition with my family because you look at my daughter. I mean, it doesn't matter where we're at. She's always doing flips. <laughs> she's almost five feet and she's 12. So she is my why. It was, you know, 10 years ago when she was a baby, she was a year old and just dealing with a lot of digestive issues, a lot of chronic constipation. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk about not being able to use the bathroom, but being regular is a serious thing, especially mm -hmm. um, when you've had family members that have died of colon cancer, like my grandfather in his 60s. And I just, um, I watched my other grandfather die of leukemia and my grandmother is a breast cancer survivor in her eighties. And really, I just, I watched that and I thought, See, there's gotta be something that I can do that's different, even at a young age as a teenager. And so all I really knew to do was fitness, was to work out. You know, I worked in gyms. And so I really knew nothing about the relationship between nutrition and disease. And then when I got introduced to juice plus it just opened my eyes to so much more in my 20s I had shingles like who gets shingles in their 20s my immune system was not well I love what you said Sharon about an intervention I definitely had an intervention and so 40s now like I'm almost 43 years old you know like I feel like I'm in my 20s I really do because I have my health back you know I feel like um age is just a number, but just the vitality of, I like what you said about your niece too, is that, you know, you don't have to take naps every day. You're not just tired and feel like, you know, you've got this, this lull throughout the day, but really to be able to enjoy life to the fullest. And so me personally, um, my experience with my kids was the ear infections, the sinus infections. And what's so sad is, I know you mentioned allergies too, Marianne, is that people start thinking that's the normal, that you've got to take to the doctor and they're gonna be on antibiotics and it doesn't have to be I can't even tell you the last time my children were on antibiotics and my son and my husband's 6'3 he's in the military he's been in for 28 years and he deploys a lot like he's in California right now you better believe he's got either his capsules or his gummies like he is not leaving home without his capsules even when he's deployed overseas I'm like dude I'm gonna ship you gummies um, I couldn't imagine the nutrition not in our, you know, in our family system. And so for me, it was less headaches. It was less moodiness. And I know a lot of times you hear people talking about hormones and things being out of whack and nutrition. I found on my journey that it's, it affects everything from your hair to your skin, to your nails. I mean, it really, it's really the, you know, the inside out and because juice plus gets into your bloodstream and it really, um, it does what it say what it says it's going to do and it builds you know it keeps your immune system well so that you like when things do come against your immune system you have that protection against it i always think of juice plus being like a well fruits and vegetables in general but being like a shield to protect all that oxidation that's coming against our bodies and you know the struggle is real like you said with eating healthy and also just stress mm -hmm. you know life can be really stressful and so the other thing I wanted to say was that on my 10 year journey is that I, um, I benefit greatly from juice plus feeding my gut, but also my brain, you know, for that mental health. Mm -hmm. I really feel like that's something that we don't talk about a lot is the mental health. But, um, I know when I find myself more in a kind of a sad, depressed state, I want to eat junk food. You know, mm -hmm. that's what we do. And so even in those moments, I love that I can take you know, the capsules or the gummies or drink the shake and really keep things kind of in a homeostasis kind of balanced. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that journey, just given the work that I do and my, my coworkers on here too, that, um, in the mental health field that, um, yeah, it's very true that, um, it's, it's like a chicken or the egg argument in terms of that you might be, if you're depressed, you don't feel like maybe eating as well, but then if you don't eat well, then you get more depressed because you're, you know, your brain and all your organs need good nutrition. So um, I appreciate that, you know, reminder and you sharing your experience with that. Absolutely. Well, thanks, ladies, for sharing all that. And Joni, I have seen a lot of people get mentally better with Juice Plus once they've started. They're like um, people who've been in postpartum depression and 
um, don't want to leave the house, stuff like that. I've heard testimony after testimony, you know? So, I mean, we all need good nutrition. Good nutrition is good for everything. And, um, you know, people ask me, is it going to be good for this? Is it going to be good for that? Good nutrition is good for everything, you know? Yeah. So, um, really your body knows what to do with it. It's not the, the, that juice plus is healing things. It's that juice plus is giving your body what it needs to heal whatever's going on, you know, or to open, as Dr. Sears says, the pharmacy that's actually in our bodies that is able to mm -hmm. give us those happy pills of our own body yeah. or the different things that need to happen, you know? Um, so good nutrition always will equal good results. And I just have um, another story for you guys. This is Elijah. And I just love this story because um, our company is all about inspiring healthy living around the world, touching families, touching future generations. And this is a family that was totally helped. Um, Elijah was throwing up all the time. He wasn't gaining weight. Um, his mom was at her wits end because she was going doctor to doctor to doctor. He couldn't complete five days of school. He couldn't go to Haiti where she wanted to go visit the relatives because they were getting older and stuff and um, he couldn't take swimming lessons, nothing. And that, that shower curtain is what they would lay down. Whatever room he was in, he'd have a shower curtain because he would vomit all the time. And um, one husband was talking to another and found out about Juice Plus, started filling his body with chewables and he got better. And now he's thriving, he's gaining weight. Um, just the micronutrients that are in Juice Plus really helped him a lot. Um, and then he started the shake also, and he's doing great. He's, um, he went to Haiti, he's done swimming lessons, he's completing all those days of school and all that stuff. Now the mom was able to focus on herself. And how many people do we know are in that caregiver situation where they kind of let themselves go, um, but she was finally able to focus on herself and get healthy, and she lost 20 pounds because she was able to focus and get her energy back with Juice Plus, and she did the complete shake also. Um, was able to lose weight and now she just had a healthy baby who's a juice plus baby so it's kind of like something for the whole family that just keeps everybody um, healthier than they would have been you know and it's never been on the chopping block for us as a budget um, we have five of us on the trio blend and then we drink the shake every day i make I think, four servings every morning you know for five of us it becomes bigger but um, yeah, so it's just, it's a way of life. And the shake is $2 a day. I always think, you know, if I was in college, $2 is like nothing mm -hmm. for yeah. a real meal. And, um, you know, Dr. Pam Popper, who's on Forks Over Knives and has looked at everybody's little wellness journals of what they eat every day for breakfast, she says, hands down, this is one of the healthiest meals you can have. So um, our complete shake, we make sure we have that every day. And we have our trio blend every day and it's an investment in your health. I like to say it's not a, you're like you're buying a vitamin or a supplement, you're buying a better body. And that's what it's done for me. And I had forgotten to mention about my allergies. I no longer have allergies. I no longer have the skin bumps, you know, on my arms, my legs, and I'm no longer drained where I'd have to stop at the side of the road just on a three hour drive, you know, and sleep like off of I-95 <laughs> exit, you know? And so it's given me a lot more vitality in my fifties, I have to say. Um, and I'm able to play racquetball for hours, which is really cool. Um, anyway, we want to encourage you guys to join our private Facebook group. We, um, we like to share our community with you. We're very proud of what we do. And we have um, recipes and ideas that you can take advantage of. But basically, we just have three main products, the micronutrients that are in Juice Plus, Orchard Garden and Vineyard Blend, the macronutrients that are in the shake or the complete bar, which is one that's on the run. We actually have different flavors now, tart cherry and dark chocolate fig. And then our tower garden, which is a way to grow your own. If you're a gardener or you love growing plants, this is the way to go too. Where you yeah. can have herbicide-free, non-genetically modified, raw, vine-ripened plants that are at your disposal on your porch. Or with grow lights inside your house, I guess, for those people who have snow. <laughs> yeah. in Florida. Um, anyway, so let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. And um, I'll turn off the recording, but I'm so thankful that you guys are here to join us tonight just to get educated. This is the education I've received over the 17 years. So you guys kind of got it encapsulated. 
um, and hopefully not too long of a time. So um, thanks for attending.